Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about buying and selling animals. So it's a little different than previous versions of Farming Sim in that you don't buy and sell animals directly from the shop. Uh, you can look all the way around. There is an animal section, but that is just tools for the animals, not the animals themselves. In Farming Sim 17, there are two ways to buy and sell animals. One is to go directly to the lot of the animal you want and then you can buy and sell from there. The second is to use a transport trailer and transport them to and from the animal shop way down here by Mary's farm. Note that chickens cannot be bought or sold in Farming Sim 17. You'll get what you get at the beginning of the game and that's it. Uh, do not buy, you cannot buy or sell those. So the first thing we're going to look at today is buying and selling them from the lot and then uh, towards the end of the tutorial we will look at the transport trailer method. So if you want a specific animal go to the lot of that animal. So I'm just going to do it with sheep. You can uh, of course choose whichever animal you want. It's all the same. Once you visit the location of that animal you'll see this uh, box here it'll take you right to it. If you don't see the yellow box you need to turn on that option in interactive zone markers. If that's off make sure you turn that on. Once you're in here open the animal dialog. Uh, so for a PC it's the R button and you'll get here to the animal dealer. Uh, so of course now I can only use sheep because I'm at the sheep lot. Right here is how many sheep I have. This is my farm so I have 14 sheep in my lot if I wanted more, you can hit buy. Now the disadvantage of this convenient method is that you will pay $200 per animal that you buy or sell. Not a huge deal when you're doing small quantities, but if I'm trying to sell 40 or 50 pigs, you're going to be paying, you know, $10,000 just to do it this way. So that's the disadvantage. Of course, the advantage is that it's super easy. So if I wanted to buy three sheep instead of $12,000, it's going to cost me $12,600 because I have to pay $200 per sheep. But then I'll have 17 sheep on my farm. One more, 18 sheep. So I can confirm that and buy them. Vice versa, if I want to sell, I have 14 sheep. I can sell them. I will get $1,600 for it, um, for selling one of them. But again, I have to pay $200. So then I'm only going to get $1,400, and that compounds uh, $200 per animal. The uh, same is true with cows and pigs. You will pay $200 per animal. So here's uh, cows, $200 per animal. And selling them, you'll get $2,000. And real quick, you go to the pigs. I already have a trailer set up for later, but just to show you. Um, Oh yeah, so I'll show this later. Uh, sorry, jumped the gun just a little bit. But yeah, same thing for pigs, $200. Now, if you don't want to pay the $200, you can buy a transport trailer and take them to and from the shop yourself and save yourself that convenience fee. Uh, it just takes time. So if you look in the shop under animals, there are two trailers. This smaller one, the smaller one can hold nine pigs, 10 sheep, or six cows or you can get this large one this one will hold 21 pigs 24 sheep or 14 cows so just a little over twice as many animals note that you cannot mix and match in a trailer if you're transporting pigs you can only transport pigs you can't have pigs and sheep uh, in the same trailer so so just a heads up there. If you do get this large one, you do need either the dolly attachment or a semi truck to haul it. Uh, you cannot just use a tractor. It needs that attachment. So in order to use uh, the transport trailer, go ahead and drive it down to the animal dealer. I already have uh, this large one set up. Drive it into the zone. There's a really big zone marker here. And then when I get in my truck and hit the open animal dialog option, this pops up and since I'm at the animal dealer, I can buy any animal I want. Uh, but again, once you buy the sheep, 
you can only, or sorry, the pig, you can only load it with pigs. Uh, I cannot put sheep or cows in there. Notice that when I buy pigs now, I don't get any convenience fee. I don't have to pay for it because I'm doing it myself. Um, so yep, there's pigs, 21 pigs, 24 sheep, 14 cows, this is the large one. Once you load it up with whatever you want, so I'm going to pay, or I don't even have that much, let's buy two pigs, then you will see them in your trailer, and there they are, just waiting to be hauled. And then you're going to drive this up to wherever you want to unload it, so since I bought pigs, I'll want to go to the pig lot. Uh, I'm not actually going to drive it there, I already have a trailer set up. And you're going to want to back up into that same zone. Once you're in that zone, hit R, and here it is. So here's my farm, just like earlier. I have 91 pigs. Here now, instead of being a convenience fee shop option, I have my trailer. And my trailer is loaded with four pigs. So now I can unload that, and it doesn't even show me any option, uh, like dialogue for it. It just unloads them. And now I have two pigs here, 93 pigs on my farm. One pig here, 94 pigs on my farm. And there it is, and then I can confirm do I really un want to unload those four animals? Yes, I do. And you'll see that the trailer, if I get in, is now empty. If I want to sell those pigs or any other animal, just hit um, load. You want it to go from the farm to the trailer. I can put in nine pigs. I don't have to pay any fee. It's that easy. Now when I look in here, I have nine pigs. I can drive them down to the shop and do the same thing and just sell them. And that's what you do. So again, two options, either go to the lot that you want. So if I want cows, go to the cow pasture, hit R in this little box, buy and sell, but you do have to pay a fee or use one of those transport trailers and go to the animal dealer way down here in the Southeast, drive them up to wherever you want to yourself. Hope that clears up on how to buy and sell animals in Farming Sim 17. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Leave a like and or dislike. Subscribe if you feel like it. And of course, as always, have yourselves a very nice day.